Usually we always focus about mounts, but we care less what's actually below the mounts, the tripods. Today, this is what we're talking about, right after the trailer. Hey, this is Fuel Into Space. I'm Sasha from Switzerland. So great to meet you under and thanks for watching my channel. So as stated, today we want to focus on tripods, mainly for the AM series of Sivo, but also in general. So when you plan to buy an AM3 or AM5 mount of Sivo, the usual reaction is to also buy the included TC40, which is the standard tripod made exactly for these mounts. And personally, when I first had a TC40 in my hand, I had quite mixed reactions because when you touch it the first time, it feels like a toy. It feels like cheap plastic, which it isn't. Because only when you realize how rich it really is and how reliable and also how lightweight it is and perfect for traveling, then you start to appreciate it. So in combination with the AM3 and a small scope, it's really the perfect combination for traveling. It is very compact, it is very lightweight, and it does its job perfectly. So this video is by no means a bashing of the TC40. If you have something like that, an AM3, a lightweight mount, not too much focal length, this is the logical and the perfect choice. But it looks a little bit differently with something like this. Having here an SQA 106, which weighs alone around eight kilos, plus an Eagle, plus a heavy camera and filter wheel. All together, this is 15 kilograms, which sits on top of the AM5. And with 500 millimeter focal length, and also the extreme quality that the SK106 can produce, we want to have a tripod which supports that. And for something like this, the TC40 is not the perfect fit. It might be as rigid as possible, given the materials and the weight chosen, but it is known with weights like that to have some flexure and might inflict some vibrations. So why it's not impossible, it's not bad, it's not perfect. So I was looking for the perfect solution for something like this. And where I ended up was with the Berlebach Uni 8. Berlebach is a German tripod manufacturer. They do a large variety of tripods for a very long time until now. All of them are manufactured in wood and metal. There's practically no plastic on it. The wood is specially treated so that even if it rains outside, it can deal with it. You shouldn't let it stand for weeks or months in the rain, but a little bit of humidity in the morning, some dew, some rain, which should just dry off afterwards is no problem at all. There's people who have for years and years now Berlebach uh, tripods, they have no issue with that. But the main reason why wood is so perfect is because wood is on one side very rigid, but on the other side it absorbs vibrations. So it's probably the best material possible, except of a concrete pier, for hosting a heavy load on top. So I will show you all the features afterwards, but you might already have some reservations because made in Germany, wood, metal, sounds extremely expensive. And the question to that, is it expensive or not, depends to my own surprise on your location. So as a base price, the TC40 costs around 350 US dollars. If you live here in beautiful Switzerland, you pay 300 US dollars for this mount, which is actually cheaper than the TC40. Makes it kind of a no-brainer. When you live in Germany, you pay around 550 US dollars. So almost double than you will pay in Switzerland. And don't ask me why, because this is actually a German manufacturing uh, tripod. So who knows? but that's what it is. And in the US, you pay around 700 US dollars. So then you are double the TC40. So the question, if this is a tripod for you, might also have to do with how much you want to spend and where you actually live. So let me take now 
the telescope away that we can look a little bit closer on the tripod and how it actually works and fits with the AM5. I will also take the AM5 off just at the moment of the pier extension, which is optional. You can also use the tripod without the pier extension. So this Uni 8 is made especially for the Sivo mounts. It's quite easy to take this off. We just open here this one screw. Okay, and it's off. So the interesting part is this plate here. You have to buy this extra and it costs another $80 or so. And what you see are these indents and they go right on top of these screws here. And that ensures that it cannot turn and with the screw from below, it's held in place. So when you put it on here, it's really easy and it's 100% stable. So it's a perfect solution. And you can put this base plate either on the pier extension or directly on the AM5 or AM3. So it works with all of them. Now, when it comes to the tripod, they first of all have this little table and I like it in the same way as I like here with the TC40, this part, because I can put some additional weight on it, which also helps to stabilize it. To actually demontage the tripod, I have here another screw, which I open. I can take the table off. That's also made completely out of wood. Now I just open it up here and I can put it together. It's obviously not as lightweight as the TC40, so it's not so good for traveling. But if you just want to clean it off because bad weather comes or so, it easily fits into your cupboard. You can also move this here fully up and then it's really small. What I like in addition here is the numbering, 25 centimeters, you can put it up. So it's about the same height as I think it's even a little bit higher than the TC40. With the numbering, you can ensure that each of the legs is the same, has the same height. And the very interesting feature here are these steel spikes, which you can actually with that, with the foot, put right into the ground. So even if you go off-road, you can ensure that this is really stable into the ground. It's not so good if you put it in your room with nice wooden floors, but otherwise that's really a great way to ensure that it stands rock solid. So this video is not sponsored. I bought this about two months ago, used it since then, and really I like it. It feels good, it looks good with, with the wood, and I get a really good performance guiding-wise with the SK106 with it. So again, depends where you're located, depends what your budget is, what your needs are, but in principle, from a quality point of view, there is really nothing to say against this mount. I hope this was helpful. See you next time and clear skies.